So this goes in here. Well, some CD platters turn, but the pioneers don't. My head keeps turning, turning like Russian gold. The thoughts are like gold. And then put it on vinyl. <laughs> it's just like a turntable. Just the whole process of creating music and DJing. You can just loop that, do all kinds of put stuff over. That's my life. So it totally impacts I like what I do in every day. It's like the old rain. Like I, I'll walk down the street and I hear rhythms all the time. But it's fun. I love sounds. My art is uh, music. And it's in me. I was born with music. My mom is heavy into jazz. My dad is into funk. And just growing up in Philly, Gamble and Huff, and the amazing songwriting that went into a lot of the music. As I grew older, teenager, in the 80s, this is when technology really came into play. So you have too many sounds. And then the drum machines started coming out. So people would sample, and that's the birth of hip hop. Sister Gertrude Morgan recorded her original recordings in 1969, 1970, which is just her voice and tambourine. And they asked us to reproduce the music for today's context. So I did the beats first because just as a DJ, I think rhythmically all the time. Snares from certain records, kicks from certain records, and you put those in the machine and you start to play your own rhythm Amen. using these sounds that you take in bits and pieces. Her vocal's running, and so it, it's kind of like this live feel. You're feeling what she's doing, and you're playing off of what she's doing. So we got the drums, we got the percussion, and we got the bass line, and so I call it Tim. Tim Matsu. He comes from the mindset of guitars. Once he started playing, it just felt alive. But then I said, something's missing. Harmonica, it needs harmonica. It needs this dark harmonica, just really washed out in verb. So I called G Love. G Love lives around the corner. Went into the booth. Just first time hearing it, killed it. Played over it, and that is exactly what we needed. Done. And it's put Sister Gertrude that recorded something in the 70s into today's context. I create because there's something in me that needs that. There's something saying you need to create music in the studio that comes from within, and you need to be this messenger where you're sending a message through the music of others. The difference between producing in the studio and creating at Silk City is that the club environment's instant. It's there, you're in the moment, and the interchange of DJing with band. We've gotten some amazing moments. Also, gotta say, there's beauty in silence. 